no step stools for billionaires. That's Pearlie's rule. Well, I, I, I think I think I think if you I think if you're a billionaire, you just hire somebody who's taller. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Let's go right to the albums. What do we have here? Hey, it's time for window shopping with Karen Dyer. Now, here's that cool cat, one hep dude, Tony Caroga. Welcome to Window Shop with Karen Driver, the attempted to be weekly show that <laughs> doesn't always go weekly, but uh, it's the show where Karen Driver editor, staffers, friends, and a lone road and track editor um, search for cars online based on a challenge. This week's challenge is sort of related to the last one we did, which was a reliability challenge. Uh, one of the viewers suggested that we do American cars that are reliable. And in the rules, I put that something like a Camry that's built in America or an Accord that's built in America doesn't qualify. So this is just for American branded vehicles. We set a price limit of $10,000 and away we went searching the internet. Uh, this week, we're joined by a crew of six, uh, senior editor Joey Caparella, executive editor Casey Colwell, uh, senior editor Alana Schur, our favorite contributor, Mr. Jonathan Ramsey. And Road and Tracks, one and only, the senior editor of Senior Editors, John <laughs> Pearlie Huffman. Uh, Pearlie, why don't you go first with your um, with your Garbage. choice? <laughs> <laughs> this is, okay. I'm used to being made fun of, so what the hell? I don't care. Oh come on! Who who won the last one? I Wasn't that Pearlie? Pearlie? <laughs> I like oh, really. <laughs> Does anyone have plays the victim on their bingo? Card? <laughs> oh, <thank God. laughs> plays a victim. Plays a victim. This is this is a uh, this is obviously what this is. This is a uh, a 2001 <laughs> Ford Ranger, notoriously good uh, for reliability. Uh, they hold their value extremely well. That's why this one could be 20 years old and still be worth ten thousand dollars. Well, no, that's not no, that's not about holding its value. That's that's about notorious? the madness happening in the world. These things, these things, these things no. are are rugged. They are rugged. <laughs> Are they're they? not worth, they're is not, not worth the same as reliable. Grand. I mean, it's connected. It's connected. I mean, are we really going to like go through what reliable means? Yes, as we should. As we, we did last when would we not? <laughs> Have you seen the show? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing we don't talk about. Reli reliability is, is that this thing is they're cheap to keep, easy to keep on the road. Uh, they don't break very often because they have almost no moving parts. What engine uh, is this? Is this wait a minute, the wait a minute. four cylinder? That has just as many moving parts as any other car going down the road. <laughs> it's not true. Not don't, true. Don't interrupt the spiel, Casey. <laughs> it's not what, true. What is it? A Wankel? Is it a manual? It's not a Wankel. It's 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 a four cylinder <laughs> Ranger. What is transmission it a four? does it have? Oh yeah, it is I think a that's four. a four cylinder Ranger. Yeah, two point three liter, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you know, this one's only got ninety one thousand miles on it, which is like brand new for these trucks. They hold their value incredibly well because they are reliable. And, you know, in the used car market, when it gets down here, reliability is everything. Pearly, I got it. Like two wheels are... turn. That's where Pearly, you're saving on the movie. Pearly, it's PC. almost 22 years old. So what? People were talking about these recently because there were some, there was like a weird demand for these on CarMax. They had like 2011 Rangers going for like 25 grand on CarMax. They, they are, they, they are, they are incredibly in, in demand. And by I, the way, same age as my daughter. So what do you have problem? We have a problem with 22 year olds. <laughs> uh, so changing the subject immediately. Um, I will say that I, I'm kind of with you on the Ford Ranger, Pearlie. I feel like when I was in art school, absolutely everybody in art school, especially the sculpture kids had a Ford Ranger of about this era because it was like an affordable small truck and you still do see them a lot. And I know somebody who's still driving the one that she had that she bought in college. So yeah, they're, uh, I think you see them a lot in California, but not in other parts of the country. I they rust out. Yeah. Michigan in a long Are there time. other they parts of the country? <laughs> there Fly are, over country. Why, why would you go to other parts of the country? Why would you want to be there? So get oh, Two times that Pearlie and I are on the same page in the very yeah, beginning of the show. Good. What's happening? Yeah, yeah this is a little scary. Sign. Anyhow, you guys, I'll, I'll just sit back and affordable wait. real estate. Wait, let's see what's the rest of the listing. Um, what's yes, what's the thing about you. the truck? Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. <laughs> it's uh, it's it says uh, it's Oxford White. Oh, it, it says V six. It says V six, but it, it's I went searching for four, so I don't know. I can't tell if that's a four or six. Well, or did you, why don't you run the owner. run the VIN through? Let's look at the engine. The VIN the check. Here's, car. The, here's the Carfax. So this is that one, one owner. owner. Yeah. What were they doing with it? <laughs> Sculpting. Maybe they were it like, to get service. 
Oh, is it, is it always Man. in Nevada truck? Wow. The desert. Well, that's a pretty great example. I mean, I'm yeah. not convinced of, as to its reliability, and certainly it's not desirable. And what's Me, Brake Masters? Personally. Brake Masters? It's the opposite of Go Masters. Hey, Pearly, can you go back to the listing? We can look at so the what engine. What was the engine? Did you, uh, it is a well, it says it's a th it says this one says it's the three liter. I, yeah. I thought it was the four because I, I, I went searching for no, the reviews don't mean anything. <laughs> Pearly, <laughs> back up. please go to the photo of the engine. <laughs> Did that just say it's something about holding 300 gallons of water? <laughs> If you want to range your hot tub, I mean, I think that could be, like, you know, it's, I think it's, that's the four. It looks like four. the four, but why don't we just, oh, Pearly, why don't you just run the VIN? It's Let's gonna take too long. Your brake fluid looks dirty. Huh. <laughs> if you if you were to click on that instead of just zoom, you might get a higher res thing, and you might actually be able to make out the um, uh, uh, the uh, emissions. No, 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 uh, you're not doing it right. Well, I can't. <laughs> Hey Tony, I Tony, I yeah, changed my brake fluid for you last weekend. Oh, I, like, which car? Uh, on the Trans Am. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh man, I, I send you a picture, or I will send you a picture. Is this, this thing four wheel drive? Mm -hmm. No. No, it's two wheel. This two wheel. This rear wheel drive. This is. The, I, I, it's, I'm pretty sure this is the. This is the four, because that's what I went searching for. Um, Where's hang on, let me see the photo again. Can Wasn't that like a Mazda one? four cylinder or something? No. They had two. They had two sixes available. No, it's the V6, Pearly. I'm looking at a photo of is, the of okay, the three liter in. That's what the is, intake looks like on the V6. It's a, it's yeah. a three liter. They had oh two yeah, V6. we should have known by how far uh, askew the alternator is. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. the V6. So I I think the V6 is probably less reliable than the 2.3 liter, Pearly. More well, moving three, parts. It's a Euro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, two, two that more, is an I, that is an iron block and an iron head though. I mean, it is it, it's it is it's it's a stone axe engine. Pearly, that's the Vulcan V6. Oh, is it really? Well, there you Vulcan go. Vulcan is not cologne. No, no, it's cologne. not a cologne. The cologne was a two eight two nine, and then a four liter. Four liter. The four liter was this is the three. The three is in between. The, you had two V6 options. You could have one of the two point three liter four. I was actually looking for the four because the two point three liter four is pretty well teched out. So, Pearly, why were you looking for the four? Because this is less reliable. No. <laughs> <laughs> the most reliable, no, the most Pearly, reliable? don't answer that. Pearly, don't answer that. <laughs> don't answer that. As your attorney, to trap you. There you go. As your attorney, don't answer that. That's just you know. I, I, you guys don't appreciate the genius of this choice. I understand that. <laughs> uh, you know, we you don't appreciate the genius of the less reliable choice than the one you wanted. Well, it's not. Less, I don't know if it's less reliable or not. I mean, they're they're both pretty reliable. Pretty. Yeah. We're looking for the most reliable. The most. It's the most reliable. I tried to find a God. You know. Okay. Thank you, Pearly. Thank you. Thank you. Let's, 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 let's proceed. Who who picked the best estate sale Buick? Let's go. Hey, on. you're coming off a win. You're coming off a couple of wins, I think. So just relax. <laughs> Pearly will never relax. Like like Machete. Pearly, don't relax. I'm calm. I'm calm. All right, Alana, how about uh, how about you? What did you find? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about the dogs today they're i don't know what they're up to okay so, <laughs> okay oh <my> God. <laughs> <What a> twist <laughs> they're the seven moving parts so uh, yeah. <laughs> when's that moving one? Parts. uh won several wars <laughs> lost some too but you know not yet and uh I really is this really your choice this is really my choice. Yeah. Tell me something that is more American and more reliable. Oh, I got something. Than a military both. Jeep. So Alana, <laughs> but if you were driving this on a daily basis, do you think it would really never break down or give you any problems? It's not that it would never break down. It's that it's so, I mean, if you can fix, if something was designed to be fixed while you're being shot at, you can, you can fix it on the, you know, if it breaks down on your commute. So that's not reliability. That's repairability. <laughs> no, I mean, again, reliability. Like, look, I, I'm going <laughs> to yes, argue that I'm going to argue that nothing it will never break down. You know, all cars will. The 1992 break down. Toyota Camry will never. Break down. <laughs> we we just <laughs> covered that with, in the last episode. Kind of roof or door. Um, you know, I, and uh, and in <laughs> shopping, I mean, I can't I can't tell like what what people's maintenance schedules have been like uh, you know you could have a you could have a slant six valiant that had someone took terrible care of and and it dies or you could let's have, look through the photos of this but it also you 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 can't drive this in most of the country 
for a lot of the year, if not most of the year. I like how the neighbor uh, has an XJ chair. Have we not Cherokee. already established that I don't care about Again, this is just making sure you understand. Jonathan, this is a, the, the, good, the good thing is, is that Alana has plenty of friends who know how to fix these. Jonathan, I mean, even you can drive this. Things. You can drive but, this yeah. anywhere. It's just not going to be comfortable. No. <laughs> no, I don't think you can drive it anywhere. Why not? Uh, you can drive them anywhere. Yeah. You can drive them anywhere. You just don't want to. <laughs> You, oh, actually, it um, okay. you just don't want to be in the back seat of them. They're very uncomfortable in the back, but they're fine in the front. I'm speaking from experience. I have a 42. I would have picked a 40 zero one, but um, they're too expensive. I think that fine is size dependent because I, I don't. I, they're not so comfy even in front. Okay, here here's the thing. Like it, poodles apparently make very poor guide dogs because <laughs> um, they only care about things that would affect a poodle. So even though yeah. they're very smart, they won't tell a person about something that's like above the height of a poodle. No, you, you, that no, is no, how I deal with these person. challenges. I like, I am not interested in whether or not this is the right car for you, Jonathan. No, I'm no. saying I could daily drive this. I want to say that Ilana, was- Ilana is right. You want a dog who speaks English. That's what you want. <laughs> yeah. You want a dog who speaks English. I never um, realized- Any I, one of you guys could figure out how to fix this if it broke. Like, I never, you know, really, I, 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 it's I never just realized. a matter of tightening this hose clamp. That's the and only the, thing the, the derision in your voice when you say that. <laughs> I never realized that uh, the engine is set so far back. Like it's uh, it's like a front uh, mid engine. Uh... Yeah, that's I mean the okay. engine. Oh my! Like, come on! You, I mean, well, come on! That's a this... that's a two stroke motorcycle engine. Where else? Has, has where a, else are they going to put it? No, it's a four stroke. It has a solid front axle on the transfer case. It has to be back that far to give clearance. To the I know, but it all probably also helps weight distribution. Probably. But <laughs> this has, has all been 38 inches of wheelbase. As well. I don't know if you guys noticed that it had been converted to 12 volts. So and run uh, modern. Oh, electric. well, in that case. Charging okay. Our, our, good, our good friends, David Freiberger and Rick Payway, would be very happy for you picking this vehicle. Yeah, well, and they've driven them. Uh, they drove one to Alaska once, and they drove one recently to Florida. So, but they're insane. Um, those are they places are insane. that aren't what, California. What Jonas? happened to the hood clamps? Um, good point. I don't know. <laughs> don't I like how the neighbor has an XJ Cherokee. It's clearly a Jeep <laughs> neighborhood. Yeah. Aren't I mean? Is there any neighborhood that doesn't have an XJ Cherokee in it? There is that. Good point. Good point. Good point. How many miles are on this thing? We don't know, do we? No way there is driven 1,027 miles. Do they have odometers? Oh, I doubt, I doubt they did. No, if it, I don't think they did. No, if it's a yeah. really surplus Jeep, I doubt yeah, it has an odometer. Here's, here, here's one thing to note. This is vehicle, besides everything else, is 70 years old. <laughs> Seven zero years old. It yeah. means it's probably pretty reliable. Pearly, yeah, pearly, it's made it this pearly. long. How are you going to break it now? Pearly, You're that's how running. old. That's how old my daughter is, Pearly. So if you have, <laughs> have a problem, you bring it to Kentucky. Okay. <laughs> Explains a lot. Anytime. <laughs> yeah, I'm not convinced, Alana. <laughs> eight eight thousand dollars. I mean, it's a it's a cool vehicle. I'll give you that. It's a cool vehicle. It's I a do steal, dig guys. It's, a, oh, it's, it's great. Steel. I think I, I think she's well. I, I think Alon is right. I think it's a steal at eight thousand bucks. There are a lot of people who pay that. That's a good price for that vehicle. <laughs> Someone also it suggested is. we do an episode where we look for obvious scams. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. I suggestion. could never win that. So <laughs> <laughs> we're always yeah we're always getting you would you would have so many in those. front of you, Jonathan. You wouldn't know. You'd, think, you'd be like, <laughs> you'd be like none of these are scams. You yeah, get a scam and one. you get a scam. <laughs> Yeah, me, me and Ramsey and Pearlie would all go down. This would be like just a Casey, Joey, and Tony show. <laughs> um, all right, Mr. Caparella. You I'm know going for Tony and Jonathan's votes at the very least. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. Okay, so I found a Buick 3, Regal. 3,800 V6. That's a good it's price. a one-owner car. Just under budget. It's got 53,000 miles on it. And it looks perfect. Oh, it's appliance white. Perfect. Appliance white, but it's like the nice trim level with the leather and the nice. Oh, I, LS was LS My the top trim. God, yeah. look at that! The the Tony was waxing poetic about watching uh, Buick uh, 
dealer ex- training ex- videos. Yeah, <laughs> right. dealership training videos. He was like, I like oh. this badge on the dashboard, Regal. Uh, oh, look at that. Does that, that add to the reliability? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I think that that's like that's like perfect. It's no, the wheel. The wheel is two different colors, though. I will say that the steering wheel. Like, look oh, at the faded. seats, though. They're in such good shape. I don't know. They are. But the, the bottom part of the so wheel. They look so slippery. They look like if you went <laughs> yeah, around the corner, you would end up on the around. Side. They've got they've got, that, they've got that GM sheen to them. That just looks well, like I don't know how fast you think you go around the corner in a Buick, <laughs> but it's not. It is not that fast. I, love I wish there was big, a photo of the I engine. love the size of the clock font and, like, how big all the buttons are. Yeah, they know they're killing it. <laughs> they were killing it on JD Power surveys yeah. and like how big the instrumentation. Yeah, is. Buick was like the number one brand for the initial quality survey for a while. Yeah, yeah. if you pick and customers with low enough standards, you'll do great on those surveys. I mean, look at the size of the fuel gauge. I mean, yeah, you can't miss it. <laughs> and it has a. But tap. you know, this Did was we like have that designer a sale car uh, come in on the magazine, Tony, with the you know, big <laughs> This isn't, speaking of designer editions, there was a Joseph Abood edition of this car. Yeah, and there was like an Olympic <laughs> edition at one point. There were wow. all sorts of special editions. There were, there were okay, so knowledge. They've there also got the window sticker in here, which I always like to see. I love how the prices are so like not even. <laughs> you don't Joey, want to pay 8 <laughs> Joey, yeah, when you Joey, when you use the um the volume controls on the steering wheel on this car, it actually turned the knob. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I've seen That's that. Awesome. Yeah. That is luxury, my friend. <laughs> I love that. Is it? <laughs> I remember in uh like I was driving a is Volvo, it reliable? Maybe like a 2016 Volvo and the adaptive cruise control, the brake pedal would mechanically move. Mm. But it was adaptive cruise control. I always thought that was weird. It's got the that fifteen inch, weird. fifteen inch wheels with bolt on covers. I mean, no, but no, it's what, got. No, look, it's got the Grand Touring it's package, the Grand so they're Touring actually package. sixteen inch. Aluminum. Oh, so you can corner harden it. Exactly. Yeah. We ooh, let's define hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, these wheels look pretty good. Yeah. It looks nice. It's I not mean, a bad design. The Regal and the Century were basically the same thing, but the Regal was like sportier. It had the bigger engine. No, oh, I think they those... both had the 3800. No, the Century had the 3.1, didn't it? As the uh, base, but I'm pretty sure you could get a 3800 in the Century too. Are there pictures of the 3800? No, Ooh, unfortunately, wait. there's no photos of the engine. Is that a, on the side of the center tunnel, is that a 12 volt outlet in the little. Oh, like, yeah. Troll Where? hole? Yeah. Oh. Troll no. hole. Where? Oh, <laughs> on the in side. The little, there. It has a little <laughs> yeah. door for it. Where the troll lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's under there? <laughs> it keeps everything just running perfectly on the car. <laughs> but I think man, the oh, Century had the bench seat, right? And the Regal had the bucket seats. I don't There remember. weren't that many differences between the yeah. two. Yeah. They had a yeah, the, 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 but panel. The, 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 engine, the engine was a definite difference. I think it was only the Regal only came with a 3800. It's a handsome I think you could car. get the 3800 in the Century. I don't think I mean, so. look, it's not a it's not handsome? a Park Avenue Ultra, handsome? but it is uh it Pretty is good, something though. nice. Yeah. Okay, it also it's nice. a one owner car. And it has been serviced at the dealer almost exclusively. Oh, like, oh man! Finding this, the lowest. Uh, lowest uh, this is a state sale dealership service yeah. car. Sometimes yeah, this is when I'm on this show, sale. I feel like state I'm sale. in an alternate universe where cool is not what I think it is. So <laughs> we're, we're shopping for the challenge, right? I mean, is this not fitting the challenge? And this is Joey. <laughs> I'm not saying it's cool. We're in Joey's world cool. now. I'm saying it's reliable. I so it is cool. I, what I'm worried about is go back is cool. up here to the mileage. Go to like 2012. Okay. So in in basically this car has been driven less than a thousand miles a year. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. But I mean, Casey, it goes to the dealer every year for service. Totally. I think dealer is 23, 2400 miles per year. Oh, yeah, but man. the last last for the last ten, it's only been going like a thousand miles a year. Yeah. yeah, but it grows regularly, Casey. Look. Yeah, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Every yeah, year. yeah, that's how calendars work. <laughs> no, but I mean the car's the regular service. service. <laughs> I bet perfect. if we could open the hood on this car, we would see perfect brake fluid. It would be perfect. Oh, here's a 360 spin. Maybe that has a. No, no definitely not. Look at that beauty. Man, that's, oh man. That's amazing. Yeah. Send me that, Joey. Send me that. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> okay. I can't let me I know can't how imagine... much you got to fix in the first few year. I can't imagine that. What's the same with our car story? What's that thing say about our car story? Equipped with features it's you'll just, love. Yeah. It's just dealer nonsense. 
they, they, they're doing yeah yeah it's the same information the 3800 gets pretty great highway fuel economy too 20 it does. great it's operating at like two rpm i said pretty great yeah, yeah. <laughs> nearly send to a friend here's where i put in jonathan's email (laughs) (laughs) 36 sir yeah this is basically confirming everything tough as nails 3.8 liter v6 right which is true it's true this is a good choice i mean as long as it doesn't leak oil which uh 3800s like to do but you would know i I would (laughs) this is this is why i'm saying it wait does yours have the supercharged 3800 yeah yeah Yeah. he's got an ultra Boom. All right, Jonathan, you want to go next? <laughs> um, uh, I had found one of my specials. Uh, and for some reason, it scam? I, scam? It, it, it wasn't a scam, but for some reason, it got pulled from Craigslist before the sh- we started uh, taping. You but I'm sure. It. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm law, sure it was not. I'm sure it's he sold it. That's that's what happened. He sold it. Uh, so instead, and I went post with, it in another region. <laughs> I went with <laughs> oh, the there. first picture is just rust. <laughs> rust. No, he no, says no rust. No, no. First picture is rust. <laughs> That's, well, yeah, there are. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, we mentioned it. This is the I thought go back to my roots. AMC uh, inline six four liter. Um, I don't know if we can make that bigger. So uh, I really dig this vehicle anyway. And there are something about there you can't find a manual for. I couldn't find one in decent condition. Under Such 10 grand. a perfect shape. A, a rectangle. Two, <laughs> it's a, just like, a two box, perfect two yeah. box design. Um, the guy says he's put 15 grand into the rust um, protection. <laughs> fixing <laughs> it up. Yeah. He, they, he, well, he said he was going to paint it, but hasn't yet. That is not part of the 15 grand. Um, but for its age and. Go, go, go back to that frame shot. Go back to that frame shot. Yeah, I would not say that's no rust. That's not great. Well, but I mean, for a 20-year-old vehicle that... Where is it? Oh, Pittsburgh? Yeah. What um, kind of muffler is that? I mean, for those who don't know, these aren't body on frame. These are unibody. No, but they had yeah. but they, they had they had box sections inside the unibody at strength. I mean, that's a frame rail that's basically... So does every car that has a unibody. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, really? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that is really a quiet great. FX That's a really, muffler. Yes. <laughs> That's how they work. <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him to put that in the listing. <laughs> it's got uh, <laughs> special rails. Uh, it, had, it had it had these deep channels in it that not every unibody has. So Jonathan, the body has two hundred thousand miles, and then the engine has uh, sixty thousand. Is that right? So, uh, um, yeah. yep, the body has two thousand, but the complete drive well, the complete drivetrain has sixty thousand. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I would, he, but he, he also says he has all receipts. They're just not listed here. So, uh, I would spend an evening with a cup of tea and a manila folder. Yes, Alana. Um, how many wars is it won? <laughs> they have nothing to do with reliability. Nothing. Better question is how many wars is it currently fighting? <laughs> Um, mostly just one against rust none because it's yeah. awesome Th- that is not a war oh, come on this is not only a californian would say that but that's a <laughs> war on rust are you kidding me yeah, uh, i've seen worse i have more <laughs> rust on me than that well you're <laughs> a thousand so you know, years old there is <laughs> that but then that is why <laughs> so um uh, and i sleep in moldy pits um the yeah, I think this is you. You can't beat it. Everyone knows they're legendary reliable. Uh, the engine is legendarily reliable, and they're everywhere. And you, the aftermarket is huge. You can fix them anywhere. They're simple, um, and they'll go anywhere. I think this is a dependability versus reliability, mm. or durability, durability, versus, uh, reliability. And I think this well, is a durable car. I don't know if it's going to be that reliable. We don't, it's, yeah, we we're did all a, picking we did, such old cars. There was a beater challenge that was done that involved one of these that. And it was the only one that did not survive. Well, what? Well, I mean, what was the beater challenge? It's basically what we do on this show, but in real life. <laughs> right, but what was the challenge? It was an off-road challenge. Yeah, it was like yeah. an off-road challenge. Okay, well, no, but, that okay, that doesn't count. Oh this, yeah, I remember the with the this there was a Land yeah. Rover in there too. This oh, is a and great and looking the geo vehicle, tracker. Though. It is. I mean, this this is a school run. You know, I gave it to my sixteen year old for uh, her sweet sixteen, and now. 
I want to get rid of it. Yeah, that's. I thought she was seventy. You know where these were made, Tony? <laughs> that's well. I have more than one daughter, Pearly. <laughs> weren't they, they made, made in, in Toledo? Weren't they made yeah. in Toledo? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then shipped over out of uh, the port of Gibraltar. <laughs> just, just north of Lima and south of uh, Milan. <laughs> yes, they, they were dropped out of B 29s for parachutes. Is what I heard. <laughs> um, Casey, what have you purchased? And is that, hold on, Casey, is that a new challenge. poster? I'm going to read this challenge. I'll what's lie. up with the Camaro poster? He's had so, that. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Okay, huh. I'll change my artwork up next week for you, okay? How's that sound? <laughs> I'm always so focused on Casey. So, window what shop challenge, maker? most reliable American cars for $10,000. American equals domestic brand, a Toyota Camry, or Accord, Honda, was omitted. Uh, built in the U.S. does not qualify. Right. All right. Man, he's been setting something up this whole show. What do you got, buddy? What do you got? What have I been saying? <laughs> man, else? oh man. I was uh, but I I I mean I'm thinking I am I am picking quite possibly the most reliable American car ever made. Uh -oh. A 1938 airflow. I, oh, of, course. Yeah. <laughs> of course. This one I thought we no. couldn't go any older. <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah, oh, that is awesome. Come on. No, 94 years old. Come on. I it's love good, it. This is not. One, this is not durable horse. or reliable. This, I mean, you talk about few moving parts. Uh, <laughs> Casey, I mean, but the is, same okay. you got, the, you got the same upholstery. It's in my Ranger. Look, Casey, it's rely. Is if it's reliable, it might be reliable, but it's also quite chuggy. <laughs> <laughs> you want one though? I don't I know. I do want they, one. I yeah. love these. Look, um, that has nothing to do with reliability. <laughs> I thought you want. I thought you wanted a Model T, Tony. I, I like A's and T's. Oh, here, the, thick, the <laughs> fix is headed down it. the line. <laughs> I told Tony he needs to get a Model 18 to get the V8, because then it would actually, like, move. But, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, these things were, these, these they just go forever. That's why. Uh, it's just, it's, Hold on. In, anything will go forever if you take care of it, put the money in. No, that's not, that's not true. Is this, this is a this is a Tudor coupe or is it, it's not a Vicky? I believe yeah. So it's it's advertised as a two door sedan, but I believe this is this is a Tudor coupe. Correct. Tudor is this the oldest car we've ever had on the show? No. No. We it isn't. What do we have before twenty? What else have we had in the twenties? I mm. thought we had a Model T on the show before. Oh, maybe we did. Oh, I, I wasn't there for that. I actually I actually think this thing's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Combo. Yeah, I mean, cool. it was, yeah. I, I kind of found out, I was like, all right, it's it's you know it's it's been restored. The the listing does not have a whole lot to it. You know, restored some some years back. You know, <laughs> runs and drives great. That sounds. So what was to me. the explain the legendary reliability of? This. Yeah, explain anything about this car's Model A's. I mean, they built four and a half million of them, something like that, right? I Popularity mean, is, does not mean reliability. T, which... no, they, they, Wait, they, they, did it replace the Model T? Mm -hmm. Basically. These were yeah. ambles. Basically, these, these I think there might have been a, a couple of weird... I mean, this is actually and this is actually the second Model A that Ford built. Um, there was a Model A like 1904, something like that. What year is this one? 28. 28. Oh, it's a 28. This is the first, first year. Production, is this first year production? 27 uh, was the first year, wasn't it? 27. Yeah. I think, yeah. Wait, and then how long did they produce them for? Till, Till like... 31. Through 31. Mm. <laughs> That's right, Joey. Out. That's right. Joey, are you trying to figure out if this is the reliable year of the Model A? Or if, like, is it, is it one of those... The mid, was the mid-cycle refresh? Later, well, exactly, more no. The last one, because they the didn't last have... one was when they were already cheaping out because they were yeah. going Yeah, out. there's always some secret. They didn't have forged yeah. rods in this one. Yeah. <laughs> I also love this color too. Doesn't have the uh, electronic ignition yet. <laughs> no, nor the large legible dials in the yeah. uh in no the disc brakes on this one. <laughs> this is the actually mm. you actually had to use some matches to to ignite it. <laughs> I mean there's there's probably there's probably a, the the toolkit for this is 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 about 6 wrenches and you can take the whole thing apart. What kind of engine is it? So flat 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 head head. Yeah, 4. Flat head 40 horse. <laughs> This is so 40. far beyond my car knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Does it even have an engine? <laughs> uh, gas tank, you can see here. That's the, I think that's the filly there in the middle. Yep. And mm. it's all gravity fed. Oh, so, so Porsche copied that then the, uh, the tank in the middle about ahead of the windshield. Uh, oh, I, really? I don't know about that, <laughs> but I mean, 
it's, it's but the ins- I mean the dash there's not really sh- there's not really a good shot of the dash um but that's basically the uh you know th- this is all uh fuel tank there so Casey Actually, when that seems safe Casey <laughs> when you read the challenge what, what was I mean so this seems like a good choice what did you so I I don't what, what was most your reliable the American car okay. yeah, that's but that's not this that's not oh, this. It could in be. fact Pearly's Pearly's Ranger this will break down before Pearly's Ranger is what I would bet. No oh, way. Yeah. Oh, totally. And Please, I think the Alana's will be somewhere in between those two. Yeah, <laughs> I would even give the Jeep uh, yeah, a longer I run. Mean, I mean, we're talking about modern standards true, of reliability. Guys, but, but KC and I will have ours back up and running while the Ranger <laughs> that, is still at the dealership. That's not the challenge. Sort of <laughs> that's fuel pump part speed that, like, of repairs is not the challenge. <laughs> The no, only like reason the Joey will ever right. go to the the only reason Joey will ever go to the dealer is for like just maintenance. Oh, no, he will no yeah, just because I mean, like, he I'm misses it. Deal with, I only have to deal with one tail light to you drop off the his Christmas card. It's enough tail lights. <laughs> God. Yeah. No, it's, cool it's a cool I mean, car. It, it, it's totally it, it, cool. I like the paint job on it too. I think it's really yeah. neat. Yeah. They, they're cool. I think they're good looking. Yeah, and that truck visor on it above the windshield is uh is also pretty hot. That's a that's the that's the HVAC system right there. <laughs> oh, did these have? I can't remember. Did these windows push out at the bottom? Yes. Yeah. 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 You can see the you can see yeah. the 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 mechanism there to like lock it in. I don't think I don't. I literally do not think there are any vents except for the windows in the car. I think you can the move the windshield. So many yeah, options, that's what that's what I was talking like, about. You can you can yeah. tilt the windshield. You can tilt the windshield, and you can roll down the windows, and that's your ventilation system. There, there's also a smokers package. I don't know if it was on the Model A, but where the window not only rolls down this way, but it also rolls um like in a little to like give you like a a place to uh, open a slot your to, yeah to put your cigarette to, out right. um, without having to have like a bunch of wind blow on you. Hmm. Because that's a gauche. I don't know if it's reliable, but it sure is cool. Oh, it's reliable. Up the Model A <laughs> Wikipedia page for some light reading later. <laughs> Tony, be, be, about. Tony be looking at dealer uh, dealer service guys on YouTube. <laughs> All right, yeah, you, you, you gotta see the ni- ninety four year long Carfax. <laughs> Joey, you guys... Joey, read the read the Model A um, entry in the uh, Encyclopedia of American Cars. It's great. Oh, that's, All the different I, options. I'll check that out. <laughs> okay, you guys ready to see the winner? Uh-huh. Oh, man, I've, I've missed that. Oh, hang on. I've I got missed a that shift. Too. <laughs> I, got a, I got a shift here. Uh, here we go. Uh, we will share screen. There it is. The 2005 mm. Chevy Tahoe with the 5.3 liter, the 4L60. Uh, I mean, the GMTs were trans- nice. GMT like 800. That. Look at the condition of this one. It's actually but... a car... It's actually a car you'd want to own too. Not a bad color, but reliability. I mean, yes, these are indestructible. No, they're not. Yes, uh, the no, small no, no, no. It's small like no, I've destroyed not. five of them. I'm talking. The engine experience. might be indestructible, but the rest of it. Is yeah, not. no, okay. no, it's not. What are you talking about? <laughs> Those interiors thing? were pretty bad. Oh. Oh. I feel like it's the kind of car where if you slam the door too hard, the door panel comes like loose a little bit. Yeah, they're so plasticky. For oh starters. come on, yeah. this is perfect. Look at no. this car. How many miles on this one? So it's a Vortex, Tony. I, I, I had a, a GMT 800 pickup of this. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, this is perfect. This is a great choice. Look at this. You're dead last right now. That's, I'm like, what? I'm, I'm sticking with the yeah. Model A. Actually, it's over budget I'm, too. I'm one. only 500 over, and it's making offer. Mm. It's 109,000 miles. These will go 250,000 miles. Six figure yeah, mileage. It, it'll go 200,000. You're Look right, but every 5,000 miles, something is going wrong. Look, Look there's greatest six cars you could have chosen in front of this. I mean, yeah, you could have gone to a land cruiser. Is this? There is no credibility to this. You know, <laughs> Icecars. <laughs> It's yeah, not, Tony, it's if I put this in as a fact check, you would send it back to me and be yeah, like, t- absolutely. Yeah. We're, 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 what's, what's right there at number four? That's right. Yeah, right there at number four. Oh, yeah, right man. behind it. Look at the Tahoe. Respect. Tahoe's 6,000 weird. behind. Look, the, what, the website is IC Cars, not IC Dead Cars. So this is totally <laughs> credible. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm glad we're wait, recording why this. Why is it listed wait, on wait, eBay? Where was Camry on that? Camry, it, yeah. uh, this is trucks. Oh, no, there's an trucks. Avalon listed. Oh, this is cars. Cars and trucks. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, if it's, if it's that number low, three. that is not credible. Where's right the now. ranger? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna remember that um, one. That one hurt. And why is a Yukon XL so much more reliable than a Yukon? <laughs> I it's yeah, not that I'm just much poking more. Hole. Yeah. Well, the thing Casey. is, Yukon, Yukon and Suburbans are get used differently. You know, Yukon XL is a Suburban. I'm just I mean, percentage myself. wise, percentage wise, it's not that different. Oh, oh my you goodness. Down here. It's not. Oh, the, what's the listing, Tony? Look, it's what's got Yokohama say? tires. There's a lock on the wheel. Well, I say, it's, those are Japanese tires. Does that disqualify it? <laughs> those are great tires. The Geolander HTS. Oh, no, come on. Come on. You're disqualified right there. You used to use the Japanese my... tires. The interior. Do have a bench is seat? I do like What the are bench those? Seat. Radials? <laughs> and that. <laughs> and I mean, that cloth. So this is I'm, a nine. Sure this it's... is a nine seater. Yeah, yeah, I can. This is I can, an incredible. I can smell the wind Does it have a third row? <laughs> exactly. Thank you, KC, for saying that. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> I can smell the Winston's coming off. Of oh no, yeah. no, no! This thing is oh, yeah. so clean, and I, oh, I love no. look. No, it does and not that smell recline clean. Lever. Do you remember that driving is... these? Do you remember driving these? You put it in drive. You rest your hand on the shifter, and you can operate all the radio controls because you're right on that level. <laughs> Wonderful car. <laughs> Uh, look, it has its merits, but reliability is not uh, among the the, the <laughs> first five. I'm gonna Pearly, say. it's got these uh, window guards, which you like. Oh. I think it's got window guards. <laughs> yeah, that's like right. Like I that's said, the... Winston's. But, I was just no, saying, no, Pearly, no, you no. like those? You I, like I, those? I, I, didn't, I didn't know I liked them until Tony just told me I did. Oh, okay. no, Pearly, <laughs> this has all the signs of a gentleman owner. No, this has all the signs. It's the old guy. It's definitely got the old guy package. It's got the old Ooh, guy package. People are going all run, out it's, today. It's got the running boards. It's got the old guy running boards. It's got the old guy visors. It's got it's an old guy paint job. It's an old guy car. Now, I mean, how's the there, there have been a lot of old guy cars in this? Well, that yeah. questionable. There is that. It's and speaking logical. as an old guy, I appreciate old guy stuff. Well, mm. old guys know what's good, and an old guy took really great care of this, and just it only has a hundred thousand miles. Just it's got a ton of life. What's that? Two or four wheel drive. Uh, I think it's a four wheel drive. I mean, I di I dig that vehicle, but I I don't think I don't really? I don't think that I don't think that vehicle is what you think it is. I think this has so much <laughs> life in it. That small I block. Do, I think is this means what you think it means. That's exactly. I don't I don't think this is what. Uh, I disagree. And then I I Roy Lunn was the chief engineer on that Cherokee, and he, uh, this is his Wikipedia entry. He also worked on <laughs> GT40. He did the AMC Eagles. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He did some cool <laughs> and, stuff. And and what was beneath the AMC Eagle? Oh, I don't know. Hang on. The Cherokee. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. The right. XJ well, he Cherokee. Yeah. Did he worked yes. on Model A, too. That's, <laughs> <laughs> he might have. He's Pearly's good friend, so uh, it's possible. Close, <laughs> close personal friend. He, he's he dating Ramsey's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the older one, not the, not the younger one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've come to the part of the show where we judge each other's picks and crown a winner. Mr. Huffman with the Ranger. I'm going to give you a sideways. Oh, yeah, I'm, I, I got to go. I, I like those up. trucks, but I don't yeah, know if they're nice reliable, but I like them. All right, you split the panel. Uh, I'm, John. Feeling, I'm feeling generous. <laughs> do I get to choose? Do I get to choose now? Yeah, what's, what do you think is the most reliable American vehicle that we've selected? What's well, been on the road? Well, the I, like, I, like, I, I appreciate Alana's choice because I, I believe in America. <laughs> And I believe that that vehicle did a lot for good for us. Carlos, cue the music. <laughs> God, God bless this country. I think of America. I think Buick, and I think that Joey picked about as oh. good a car as you could get for a lot of those. Thank you. <laughs> Buick Regal. I mean, it's 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 if if Joey had to buy American, that's what Joey would buy. Yeah, <laughs> true. That, that's a commercial. <laughs> that's why I chose it. Is what that is. <laughs> Uh, Alana went next with the Jeep. I'm going to go sideways. Love the car. <laughs> Don't think it's the most reliable thing. I love, I, I, I'm going to go up just because I have so many friends who love those things so much. And Alana, what do you think is the most reliable vehicle well, today? I think this is clearly Casey's win because what? it's still running. It's what? still it's the <laughs> oldest car in the group and it's still running. So obviously it's been running the most. You can any of amount of me metric tons of money will get anything running. It's not even close the rest Including of your Jeep. Are you, so, are you kidding me? Casey, only, only so if Casey your friend's mom, the fix no is so in. Jonathan, your friend's so mom many said, I need 
You need a reliable <laughs> car. You would tell your friend's mom to buy a 1928. <laughs> oh that, my that, god! That was not the challenge. That was well, not the yeah, challenge. That was that wasn't the challenge. The challenge was not what. Cars Man, the, the most the, reliable. The, the, the viewers, the viewers are going to be like, "Why do I even ask for stuff? I thought I'm going to buy a 1928 Model A." <laughs> if anyone's using this show for advice, you're at the wrong place. You know what? No, no, you I would all are idiots. To buy that I do. <laughs> And tell me the thing wasn't just bulletproof. Let's do a long-term test. 40,000 miles. (laughs) Long-term? Four miles? What are we doing? What are you (laughs) long-term? I'm sure you can find an editorial budget to buy that car. Go buy it. Drive it for 40,000 miles. All right, Joey. Joey himself can drive it. I'm I'm totally down. Bring money and time. Oh, my God. All right, Joey with the Buick Regal with the 3800. Hardy thumbs up. Great choice. Great example. What are you picking? I'm hesitating to pick any of these really old things. <laughs> well, um, I, I mean, don't pick an old thing then. What did Jonathan have? <laughs> pick the heaviest. <laughs> what did Jonathan have again? Go ahead. Uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the XJ the Cherokee. Oh, yeah. I'm picking that. That was the best what? one. Thank you. Yes. I like that thing. <laughs> and he's right. <laughs> he's totally right. Because the Tahoe was over budget. And buy five hundred dollars. Make him an offer. Oh man, mm. no! But I still you... think that under budget is better. <laughs> yeah, but Jonathan's Jonathan. To your point, no, I think you can that's keep reliability, anything. like being cheaper. Jonathan, <laughs> to your point, you can keep anything running, and your your former the owner of your Cherokee did, and he has all the receipts. Exactly, which He's is got but, the receipts. It's, it's reliability. That's the point. Yeah, a hundred years of reliability. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! But does he have the receipt? No, (laughs) they were not receipts back then. (laughs) That was before they invented receipts. (laughs) They didn't have paper. I mean, they have some stone tablets with engravings of the service man. 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 That's a man named E. Nazir complaining about copper. (laughs) Yeah, I'm picking the Cherokee. Um, Thank you. All right. uh, Speaking of the Cherokee, Jonathan, you went after Joey. I'm going to give you a sideways. Holy oh, cow. That that you one, have said one. the... Thank you, Casey. I can't believe these sideways votes. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> just a lack of commitment, you know? They're afraid guess, to just go all in. Man, yeah, six people is not the way for this show to go, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. We're going to have... Each car is going to have one vote. <laughs> I was, well, so my theory, my theory was Tony was like, oh, I'm going to go with six so I can manipulate the vote a little more. <laughs> That's, I would believe that. Um, so, what's your favorite master. GM? Come on, there's only there's only GMT my favorite 800. my favorite GM today is a Buick Regal. Thank oh, you, thank you. <laughs> I mean, it's it's the only choice. We actually, of mine. I didn't even think about this. We represented all of the big three. We got Jeep, Buick, Ford. <laughs> hit all, the, hit all, hit it all. No, you didn't hit Chrysler. Well, well, but Jeep is sort of Chrysler fish, now. Right? Although, you know, yeah. in the 50s, that doesn't... Mm. No, but the, by the oh, time that... XJ my model, was, yeah. By the time that XJ was, was made, it was a Chrysler product. Oh, right, true. yeah. I, I keep forgetting about that one because it's not That's as true. good. Developed by Roy Lund at AMC, but the Chrysler at that point, <laughs> nonetheless. <laughs> oh my God. Well, wasn't, I mean, you brought up Roy Lund. Wasn't that, wasn't that like, wasn't that Cherokee quasi related to the, um, what's it called? Renault Alliance. Know. They have Renault Alliance seats. They had alliance seats. They had the same seats as the alliance. No, related to the um, Comanche AMC. No, no, not the Comanche. Yeah, the AMC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Well, they used cause... the the Quadra track system was used on the Eagle first, and then moved over to the exactly. Yeah, uh, the yeah, yeah, but yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm I'm probably. Are you wasn't... suspecting that the uh, unibody frame rails came from the? Uh... <laughs> that was what oh, I was going to get to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right casey um oh you man pick? oh the model Nothing more than that. <laughs> what did you pick really <laughs> how could we forget oh, oh, um, well uh, i love I'm look i'm gonna go sideways i'm there i'm gonna go sideways yeah, Tony, way too old yeah you, you can't give him a thumbs up if you gave me a sideways right. you know, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna put, I'm gonna give you a thumbs up just for the audacity of picking that car well, oh wow i love it casey it was a winner <laughs> uh, cool. um yeah i uh I agree. Like I said, the challenge was most reliable, and I think a hundred years of reliability just proves itself. The, the, no, 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 no. We have no proof of any reliability. There were no receipts. No, yeah, no proof of any reliability. We have proof of restoration, <laughs> it's like, it's not like, reliability. 
Joe, Joe is like a senator. Like, where what are the what 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 Show me what the what 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 esteemed colleague Caparella <laughs> would like it would to. It would very know. impressive if that Model A had come out as a one owner car. That would have been really impressive. <laughs> <laughs> there is a um, one owner dog the oldest right person now alive in no, uh, and as much as i uh i probably should return the favor and and it's give alana like a vote uh i gotta go with the with the toledo made cherokee oh, oh <laughs> now we're tied <laughs> what tied. Is it tied? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It is, Tone. All right. Hey, uh, who got votes? <laughs> Joey has two, and I have two. Okay. And uh, someone else has one. I, I have one. Uh, Casey has one. So GMT 800. Hold on. We can't no, wait, no, We can't do the math for Tony because now his brain's already <laughs> going about how, what do I, oh, wait, what do I do? Oh, if come I, on, if come I carry on. the one. <laughs> oh, uh, GMT 800 with the 5.5 oh, go liter sideways. Vortex. I'm not sure it's that reliable. I'll give you a thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, it, it a, it, solid heart, but. Wow, so many sideways. I had a lot I, of that that website my... just didn't convince you. I'm sorry. No, the truck didn't convince us. <laughs> it had nothing to do with the blame website. the website. <laughs> All right, the easiest. This is probably the easiest pick I've ever made, and it's for Joey's Buick Regal. Uh, that is a beautiful car. I do not mind that. Fifty three thousand miles. That thing will go two hundred fifty thousand miles, no sweat. And <laughs> I, it's a great choice. I can't. Uh, I can't deny it. Thank you. So Joey gets the win. Congratulations, Joey. You've dethroned Mr. Huffman. You, you checked out already, Pearly? Is that what's happening? You're gone, Pearly? <laughs> yeah, I'm, a little, I'm a little checked out today. I haven't taken my dog for a walk. I need to go get my dog. I did not think dog was going to be a <laughs> Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> I haven't taken. <laughs> my goodness. All right. All right. Well, thanks for the suggestions. Dogs run back and forth wildly behind you during the filming of this show because uh, now they're sleeping. <laughs> well, thank you for the suggestion uh, to the viewer who suggested that. Please keep the suggestions coming. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Somebody also suggested that we put a poll in to the comments. I don't know how that would work, but uh, we've got the development team that? on it. Hold on, and I think yeah, oh, when yeah you, it's a thing. I've seen it. Oh, I it think is? from now okay, on. We'll What's that, From John? now on, when when viewers send suggestions, you should send a a year range, <laughs> just so to keep us in the guardrails, or else someone will show up with an eighteen eighty six the Dion <laughs> with a <laughs> single cylinder steam engine because it's <laughs> the car they will. So yeah, give us all the guidance you can. Yeah, yeah. The exactly. Next one will be the you know, best car powered by wood. <laughs> and please please leave comments and hit the like button please and keep watching and we'll try to do this regularly it, we just don't have that much time N next week's going to be most reliable wood frame <laughs> is that like unibody most unibody with wood wooden rails, rails or okay. most reliable wood frame rail remember life in the fast lane i do first you meet then you get married, and things slow down. Yeah, right. To help you keep up, drive the supercharged Regal GS Sports Sedan. Plenty of room, standard traction control, and the most power in its class. And now, Regal comes with something that'll make it even easier to drive. Regal by Buick, official car of the supercharged family.